Well, this is lesson two on Planck's constant. Here is the formula again. E, e is equal to Planck's constant h times frequency. The Planck's constant number 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds you will need to memorize. And here's the first example. It says calculate the energy of a quantum of radiant energy with a frequency of 5.00 times 10 to the 11 cycles per second. <clears throat> just like all math that we did this year we're going to start with the formula so E is equal to Planck's constant H times V and then down the side I'm going to write the letters E H V it says calculate the energy oh you can't read that sorry I'm going to move this up calculate the energy so question mark here Planck's constant we always have right Planck's constant we always have I'm going to rewrite it here 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34 joules times seconds and we have a frequency of so 5.00 times 10 to the 11th cycles per second. So that many wave crests would pass in a second. If I look at, look at this formula, it's already set up to solve for E. So I'm just going to do an equal sign and I'll do that in a different color other than the question pro. There we go. We'll use this one. So 6.0 Six three times ten to the negative thirty four joules times seconds. And I'm going to multiply that times the frequency, so five point zero zero times ten to the eleven. And I'm going to, instead of doing the dash, do the horizontal divide line per second. And if we take a look, this second is a numerator and this one is a denominator, so they cancel. When I punch this into the calculator, I get 3.315 times 10 to the negative 22. Joules is the only unit left, so I'm going to write that. Now I have to consider my significant figures. Planck's constant is not what I'm going to use for sig figs because it is given. So this number right here is for sig figs. And there's one, two, three significant figures in my frequency. So that means I can report three significant figures in the coefficient here. So one, two, three. I'm going to cut off this five. So because I'm cutting off a 5, I'm going to round up the 1 to a 2 times 10 to the negative 22 joules. So if a wave has a frequency of 5.00 times 10 to the 11 cycles per second or hertz, each quantum of energy in that wave is going to have 3.32 times 10 to the negative 22 joules of energy.